Good day everybody, so this is the second part of my Germany vlog. Today I will show you how I went to the Airbus factory and how I went plane spotting to the Berlin Brandenburg airport. Also I will show you how everything went wrong when I was departing from there. Welcome to the flight and find, thank you for 1000 subscribers and let's get started. My narration I want to start from the town of Bremen since there I was after my SAT test. Now, this will be really short part of the video, but it's essential for all the context. So, right after the test, I went from the Constructor University and headed to the train station to get to the city center. And once I was there, I went straight to the Christmas market, where I spent several hours watching at the whole beauty of the city center in Bremen. It is really beautiful. After that, I got to the train and went to the Hamburg. There I had one free day, which I have spent wandering around the city and enjoying its views. I really like Hamburg for its views of the ports and all the ships that are going there. It's really industrial and beautiful. And after one day walking in the city, this moment finally came. I was finally heading to the Airbus factory. At first I went to the bus stop, where I got on the bus and had an overwhelming 40 minutes ride to the Airbus. There was two separate factory tours, one in German and one in English. Of course I got to the English one. Unfortunately it is not allowed to take any videos or photos there, but I will try to explain what I have seen and how I liked it. So we boarded the bus and headed to the main building of the factory. There we watched a video about what's this place and what's the history of this place and received a bit of information how Airbus produces the planes nowadays. After that we headed to the constructor facility of the Airbus A320 XLR. There were a couple of planes that are in the construction timeline for now and also we were told from which country each part came. After that we got to the constructor facility for the A350 and watched how workers constructed the back part of this plane. Then we got to see the Airbus Beluga, which was unloading at the time. Also we saw some fresh parts of the Airbus A320 that were received several days prior to our visit. I was really happy about that visit. I highly recommend for everyone to visit that place. It's majestic. So after the end of the tour I went to do some plane spotting near the factory's runway. I wanted to see some fresh planes departing to their customers or just a sneak peek of the Airbus Beluga. I want to say that it's really hard to get to the plane spotting area from the checkpoint of the Airbus. I had to go for half an hour and after all that I was running late to the train for Berlin. But it was fun, I liked it, it was pretty good. I was able to look at the Jetstar Airbus A320 XLR departing and also I could see the Airbus Beluga still unloading. I hoped that it would take off but it didn't. After the spotting I hurried to the L on a train station to get to the train to Berlin. I was really upset because I was running really late because of all the plane spotting that I did there. So I got to the train when it was like six minutes before the departure and I was really lucky to be on that train. After I arrived to Berlin I had like three days of free wandering in the city. So I used that opportunity and went to a lot of different places to enjoy the history of this town. Among other places that I visited was the Berlin Brandenburg airport, where I went hoping that I will record something cool for the vlog. Spoiler, I didn't. As I got off the train of the S-Bahn, I went to the touchdown zone of one of the runways. It was a really wet day and the snow was melting rapidly. After standing near the touchdown zone, I decided to go to another spot in the airport, the end of the runway. I thought that I could record some landings, but that runway was the takeoff runway on that day. So 
it was the fail. I stood there for like an hour, completely freezing cold hour, and after that disappointment, I went to the S-Bahn station to get back to the city. Now I think that that visit wasn't successful because of poor planning and poor weather. But it was still quite a bit of fun going around the airport, shooting the videos of planes, watching the flight radar as the planes are approaching the runways. You know, it was a good experience. Another thing happened when I was departing from this new airport. Now you may think that if the airport is new, it must be convenient and up to date. But that's not the case with the Berlin-Brandenburg airport. So as I got there, it was like two and a half hours before my flight. To begin with, I was waiting at the check-in desk like for 40 minutes. And after that, I needed to go through 200 meter line for a security check. And after I got past this line, I had 20 minutes before the departure. And also I needed to pass the passport control. So I was in a lot of hurry. I went to the passport control and the only good thing is that I was allowed to skip the line because I was late. So after overwhelming two and a half hours spent there and a huge amount of my nerves, I was finally on the plane. When I got to the Antalya, I was met with an opposite situation. I had around two hours to spare everything without the free Wi-Fi or any ability of connection with the outside world. After those two hours, I finally boarded the plane and departed. That was an adventure of a lifetime. I loved that trip and I loved Germany. Thank you for watching and have a good flight.